Hello and welcome to this video on how to create and fold a fish using origami. Before we get started, I would like to credit the original creator for this craft, Origami Instructions, whose instructions I followed to create my own fish. With that said, the materials that will be used for this craft include a piece of origami for square paper, a black marker, and a red pen along with paper instructions that will be located inside your craft bag. To begin creating your fish, you're going to first start out by taking one of the square pieces of paper included inside your bag and placing it in front of you. We'll then proceed to fold the paper diagonally two times, making sure to crease the paper down flat. So currently on screen, I'm going to go ahead and make the first fold, taking one corner of my paper and matching it to the opposite end before I go ahead and fold my paper, making sure to get it as flat as possible along my crease. I'm now going to go ahead and open my paper back up and I'll make the same fold again with my second set of corners, creating an X with my two diagonal folds. Once I have my X, I'll open the paper up and turn it over. Flipping the paper over is important for this step because it'll help us to get the mountain and valley folds we'll need for a future step. So with my paper turned over, I'm going to begin folding horizontally and vertically to create another X. I'll start off by folding one side to the other, creating my flat crease, and I will go ahead and fold down the opposite sides flat, leaving us with four lines of folds. Once you have that, go ahead and open the paper up again one last time and locate the side where your diagonal folds create a valley or fold downwards and where your horizontal vertical folds create a mountain or fold upwards. Once you find the side that does this, you'll pinch the sides of the horizontal lines together and push inwards, folding the paper down and in, creating almost what looks like an X that points down and creates four sides. Once we have this, we'll press the paper flat, creating a square that has two folds going inwards and creates two flaps on both sides. Now that we have the first few steps done, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my flaps and I'm going to fold it down towards the middle crease of my paper. I'm going to make sure I have a nice line up here and then I'm going to create a nice clean flat fold. I'm now going to do the exact same thing with the opposite end of the paper. So bringing that flap in towards the middle crease, almost matching it to the other fold. And then I'm just going to create a nice clean flat fold or crease, my bad. And now that I have this, I'm gonna take this triangle on the top of my paper and I'm going to fold it over those two folds. And I'm not going to overlap, I'm just gonna make sure that it's right over top. And then I'll fold down, just like this. And then go ahead and also create a nice clean fold. But once you've done that, go ahead and open everything up. You should have a triangle on the inside. And now, take the bottom flap and open it up just like a mouth. So our next step is to push these flaps inwards along the creases that we made. So I'm just gonna take this first crease, or this first flap, and I'm going to push it inwards along the creases I made before. And it's going to end up looking just like this. So now I'm gonna open it back up, and I'm going to do the exact same thing 
with my other side. So I'm going to push this flap in just along the creases and then when I fold it down it should create what looks like almost a kite. But we're not done so we need to do this exact same thing on the other side. So we're going to do the same thing again just taking those flaps and folding them in towards the middle crease line of our square. I'm going to do that second one just like this and then make that clean crease. And then you don't have to, but if you want to, you can fold that triangle right back over. But because my crease is so close to the top of these other two folds I did, I'm not going to worry about it here. So I'm going to go ahead and open my paper back up and push those two flaps inwards along those crease lines I made just before. And this should now leave me with a perfect kite shape almost on both sides. Now I'm going to take the bottom corner of my paper right down here and I'm going to fold it so it's touching the top corner of the paper. And then I'm going to create a very nice clean fold here that's really important for this next step. And then I'm going to fold the paper over itself to the left. And then you'll want to create a clean fold here as well. Once you have that, fold the paper over itself to the right. Alright, so this step is just a little tricky, but I did it a few times. So what you're going to do is you're going to push the right side in on itself and then fold over pushing on the left side. So I kind of messed up here, but so I'm going to try it again. So push in and with the right as you're pushing over on the left side. And you should get this, this little fold that I had that it overlaps itself. But so push it with the right as you're pushing on the left side. And one more time. And then we're going to bring it down. That's going to form one half of our fish's tail. So now go ahead and turn the paper over and do those exact same steps again. So bottom bit of the paper to the top bit. Nice clean fold. Fold over to the left and then fold over to the right. And then you're going to do that fun little move of tucking in the paper on the right and folding over on the left. And once you've created that and you've brought the fish's folds down, you're going to have the full fish's tail. We're not quite done yet though. We've got one last step before our final step. So now I'm going to take these flaps up here and I'm going to fold them towards the middle crease. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do that on the other side. And then once I have my two folds done on this side, I'm going to fold it over, the paper that is, and I'm going to do those exact same two folds on the other side. Now we've done this, this brings us officially to the last step of this fish folding origami craft. 
So it's going to be just a little bit more difficult. But so what we're going to do is we're going to grab the bottom legs here and we're going to pull them away from each other. So it's going to start expanding the body out as you can see here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thumbs and I'm going to push on the insides to help push them outwards. And then I'm just going to kind of pinch and squeeze the outside to help pop it out. And then I'm going to pinch my tail together and that'll form the fish's body. But don't worry, I'm going to do this exact step again so you don't have to go back. So I'm just going to reset here real quick and I'm going to grab the bottom two legs of my fish, pull them apart and start expanding the body out. Then I'll take my thumbs, push the body out just a little bit further, squeeze on the outside to help pop everything out. And then, now that I have that, then I'm just gonna kind of fine tune it just a bit more. I'll squeeze the fish's tails together and there we have it, our fully designed and functioning origami fish. Now as a bit of a recommendation, I personally like to tape the back end of my fish's tail together just to have everything stay together, but that's totally not required or necessary. But so if you want to, you'll just take the bit of tape and put it just around that back area. Now. The final bit of this craft involves taking your black and red pen and decorating your fish, as demonstrated by this other fish I did earlier. And once you've done that, you've officially finished this craft. I hope you had fun, and I hope that you were able to successfully create your fish. Have a good one, and have a great day.